Okay, hey, welcome to part six of Simple Maze Game Tutorial. Um, so far what we've done is we've created a maze, we've put a player in it, and we've had some treasure uh, hidden in the maze. Now, uh, so far all of our images have just been uh, colored, either colored squares or colored circles. You know, we've got a, a blue square for the player, white squares for the walls, and uh, I think a yellow circle for the treasure. So what we want to do is we want to actually try and use some images. Uh, so if I go, I'm not sure if I have this open anymore. Let's see, do I still have that open? No, let's close that. Um, so basically, I, I found some images uh, on the internet, and hopefully they're, I know some, this one I got from Open Clip Art, I forget where I got this one. Um, so hopefully they're copyright free. If they're not, I apologize in advance. Anyway, um, notice, uh, the images we used are GIFs, so for some reason they, uh, I think GIFs are probably what you got to stick to here with this version. Um, so I've got four different images. So I have to first, at the beginning of the game, register them. So I'd use the turtle uh, modules register shape method, so it's register underscore shape, and just it's the name of the file. Now the file has to be in the exact same folder as the program. That doesn't have to, but if you're going to use this format, it does. So these four images are in the same folder as this file. So I can hear some kids in the background. I apologize. Um, so you just register the shape. And then what you want to do is in your code. So this one's missing, actually. Okay, no, I did it like that. Um, so for example, the player, the shape is going to be wizard underscore right dot gif. So it's the exact same name as the file. Now, if you recall, the image or the size of the squares was 24 px. Okay, so you have to make sure that the size of your GIF is also 24 by 24. Um, so that will keep everything consistent. The same thing with the wall. You'll see that in a second. You notice I didn't put it here. I'll explain that in a moment. So the player is always going to start out facing right. Um, treasure. I've got a GIF for the treasure. Treasure.gif. And it also is 24 by 24. Okay. So nothing else changes. But uh, when we're using the character, so the pen goes to the location, and I change the shape to wall.gif. Okay. Then I stamp that image onto the screen. Okay. Um, the player, because we've already done it up here in our definition, the player and the treasure will automatically appear like that. Um, quick thing to remember is that the wizard, uh, I used a wizard, the wizard goes left, the wizard goes right. So when we go left, we want the wizard to face left. When we go right, we want the wizard to face right. So you will see that just now. So you can see there's my wall, it's the GIF I use for the wall. There's my little wizard character. There's my treasure character. So it's the same exact layout, we've just changed the images. It looks a lot nicer. So I can now move my wizard around. Everything else works the same. It's just the images have been used are different. And take the treasure, and that is that. So based on this concept, you know you could see how you could add, say, some keys into the dungeon. Um, you could add some traps. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do um, using the basic concepts that we've gone over uh, in this tutorial series so far. So hopefully that'll get you started uh, on making a really cool maze game. And again, you can check out some of my other tutorials. Talk, they'll talk about sound. Um, I may end up adding a few more uh, lessons to this tutorial, but for now, I'm going to stop there. And uh, yeah, so thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something. Thanks.